that we talked about here could be expanded to support other aspects of the solidarity economy. That sounds complicated, but I think what they're saying is, uh, if, we're if we talk about agriculture here, is there a way that what's being done in urban agriculture can coordinate and communicate with um, other things that are happening in the solidarity economy? So maybe, maybe a simple way is possibilities for integration. I think the big question, the big idea in question number two is integration among these branches of the solidarity economy. And number three is, what are the barriers and areas of convergence? So that sort of speaks, that complements number, number two. As we're trying to integrate and communicate, what, what barriers will we run into, and what things are already being integrated that we can sort of affirm and rejoice about? So what barriers and areas of convergence? And I'll try to sort out which question is getting answered, if you can if you can address the resisting building and include and make that a little bit explicit for me, okay? I hope that didn't take up too much time. Did that help? All right. So we were gonna kick it off with a game. I don't know if it hits any of those three words, but and you probably like to play a lot of games just to loosen people up. Um, so I am gonna introduce that if they can do it. Okay. So has anybody played trade? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody can play trade. Okay, so that's going to have to explain it. Um, so we're going to play charade today, and this is just to uh, make everybody comfortable with each other and be a little goofy. So we're going to play vegetable charades. So the way that you do it is you have to ask them the vegetable, and then we have to call it the vegetable, and then whoever gets it right gets to be the next vegetable. So <laughs> let that, you know, stop you from guessing. <laughs> so we're going to have Stacey Walker and um, Devin do first. And you guys can laugh at her if you want to. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
broccoli. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday of the month? 
And generally the third Wednesday of the month is on a schedule like that. It's at 6 o'clock. And at, at our show. And it's at the art show. Yep. And they just had a meeting on Friday as well, but the general meeting is, is not on Wednesday. Where is it? Is it? I don't know where it is. It's on 800 Main Street. It's on the corner of Castle in Maine. Or right across from Orient Street. It's about a block from the YMCA. It's about, I don't know, five blocks from here. Yeah, well, I can just roll them. So yeah, now I guess I'll transition into my work at the REC. Uh, so yeah, I'm working as the UGRO coordinator. So I just want to go a little bit, which is the community guidance, school guidance, um, and that's the bulk of you know, our urban ag. So urban agriculture is essentially a system of growing, processing, and distributing, selling, buying, sharing, and then sort of disposing the food that we eat. That's just the general definition, hard boil. Um, foods, plants, animals, everything. And this is what happens in like urban settings. So generally in urban settings, you have to be a little bit more creative. You're dealing with smaller plots. Um, so you know, rooftop gardens are some examples. Using vacant lots, TSB usually. Our immediate soil, things like that, testing the soil. So those are some of the things that may come up in gardening or growing in the city that don't come up in rural areas generally where you have rich soil um, and generally are dealing with like animals as their pests and problems. Um, so some examples of like urban gardening, board growing or agriculture, like school gardens, community gardens, personal plots. A lot of gardeners themselves just having a personal garden don't consider themselves part of the landscape urban agriculture, uh, but they absolutely are. Anything that you container growing in your backyard, anything that anyone's doing on, on their personal level is definitely part of, part of the system. Uh, farms are a big part of it as well. Farms with an educational mission, like the youth farm, or just commercial farms as well. Mm -hmm. 